My name is James Morn. I'm director of the Dubai Business Associate Program, and I was a proud judge at YGT 2019. I flew to Guangzhou in China, and it was a brilliant summit. I made great friends with participants and fellow judges, and since then I've kept in touch with YGTers. Some have passed through Dubai, and here, for example, is me with Dr. Hamid, and he is also known as Dr. Water by thousands of Africans because of his kiosk that makes drinking water out of air in rural Africa. We just had meetings with the Dubai Future Foundation and we're in front of the Museum of the Future. Dubai is in the desert and it's transformed itself from a fishing village to a metropolis in just 40 years. And the environment and climate change are central to the long run success of the city. The Dubai Business Associate Program that I run was created by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. We launch careers in the city through project-based learning and Dubai becomes part of their DNA. We work, for example, with Emirates Airline, with the associates working on projects like carbon offset programs and concepts for carbon negative aviation, and also with Dubai Expo, to be hosted in the city next year where sustainability is a central pillar. So I'm honored to be judge at YGT 2020 and I want to give you a little bit about our passion for YGT and also what gets the pulses of the judges racing. Number one, you ambitiously attack a global problem with a simple to understand solution that addresses a key green metric. Number two, you touch our hearts with how you improve lives. You impress us with your teamwork, with all bases covered. You have a commercial mindset that knows how to scale. And lastly, your USP stands out from the competition, and even with a pilot, you can prove early results. YGT is a catalyst that inspires innovation in young people around the world. You use out-of-the-box thinking to address tomorrow's challenges today, when the planet is reeling from COVID-19. You get the big picture, which is a green future through smart solutions such as food, transport, finance and technology. And what an exciting time to be surrounded by like minds with a common passion. We're all in the same boat trying to make what Churchill called opportunity from crisis. And YDT is a siren call that people, the planet and how we use resources are highly interdependent. YDT is collaborate at a time when national borders are blocked. Cross-border science and tech diplomacy are vital to get the solutions working. Diversity of countries and backgrounds can overcome challenges that are global and not national. In Dubai, we have 200 nationalities living in harmony and that creates a virtuous circle. And that's the same fuel that drives the success of YGT. So well done for applying and pushing your boundaries in the new normal world. The transition to a low carbon economy is not just about opportunities, it's also about risk. And you with your YDT projects are risk takers. And I salute you for this. If things don't go according to plan, that only makes you stronger. You learn the vital skill of foresight and that makes your business plans even better. So to close, the pandemic caught us all by surprise. But the future is greener day by day, thanks to YGTers who share a common passion to make the world a better place, one project at a time. Please remember you have a friend in Dubai. We have tools like Zoom at our fingertips and you can reach out like no time in history so the ripples of YGT can spread around the world. I think I speak for all the judges that were super excited to be involved, to mentor, to be in touch with you, not just now, but well beyond 2020. So congratulations to all YTers, and I wish you a super YDT final and summit.